How to conduct a conference call on an iPhone. You can make a conference call using an iPhone via a few simply taps, namely by using the Add Call and Merge Calls buttons. This article will cover the simple process in detail while also discussing some of the optional functions associated with conference calls. The next time you need to connect with multiple callers simultaneously, the solution is simple for any iPhone user. Adding and merging calls. Make an ordinary telephone call to your first participant. Begin by tapping the phone icon located at the bottom of your home screen. You will see the options to call from your favorites, recents, contacts or via the keypad. If calling from contacts, tap the selected contact and then tap the phone number you wish to dial. Your iPhone will automatically place a call. You may similarly dial one of your favorites or recents by simply tapping the listing. To place a call with the keypad, enter the desired phone number manually and tap the call button. Note that other conference participants do not need iPhones. They may participate in the conference via any kind of phone. This tutorial applies to those hosting or initiating a conference call via an iPhone. Note the call options that appear. As your call is dialing, six boxes will show up on your screen. Mute, keypad, speaker, add call, FaceTime, and contacts. Add a third caller. After the original call connects, the Add Call button will brighten. To begin connecting the third person, tap Add Call. Place a call to a third participant. After you've connected with an initial caller, you will then be able to call someone from your contacts or dial a number via the keypad. Both of these options are located among the six boxes appearing on your call screen. Once you hit the Add Call button, your prior connections will be placed on hold. You may wish to let them know in advance that they'll temporarily be on hold. Note that before your original call connects, the Add Call button is not usable, because it is not able to be activated until an initial call is connected. You can also add a caller who's placed a call directly to your phone. Upon receiving that call, simply tap the Hold and Amp, Accept, Answer button. Once the call has been answered, then tap Merge Calls. If you don't wish to accept the incoming call, tap send to voicemail. If you wish to accept the incoming call and terminate your conference call, tap the end and amp, accept button. Once you hit the add call button, your prior connections will be placed on hold. You may wish to let them know in advance that they'll temporarily be on hold. Note that before your original call connects, the add call button is not usable because it is not able to be activated until an initial call is connected. You can also add a caller who's placed a call directly to your phone. Upon receiving that call, simply tap the Hold and Amp, Accept, Answer button. Once the call has been answered, then tap Merge Calls. If you don't wish to accept the incoming call, tap Send to Voicemail. If you wish to accept the incoming call and terminate your conference call, tap the End and Amp, Accept button. Merge your calls. Once you've been connected with a third participant via the second call you've placed, tap the Merge Calls button. You'll find it in the same box previously housing the Add Call button. This will take your initial connections off hold and connect the newest participant to the call. Add more conference participants. Your iPhone will accommodate as many as five conference participants, so repeat the Add Call and Merge Calls steps as needed. Remember that initial conference participants will all be placed on hold while you're adding additional callers.